Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon and good evening. May the good Lord bless you today. May He guide and protect you in your life. May He bless you and bless your family. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Today, our topic today is beating bitterness. Beating bitterness. We all go through things that are not fair. People do us wrong. We didn't get the promotion. Come down with an illness. You can't stop life from happening to you, but you can choose how you respond. If you hold on to the heart, you go around dwelling on the offense, thinking, why did they say that about me? Why did I choose my loved one? Why did our friend walk away? Then you are opening the door to bitterness. When you are bitter, it affects every area of your life. Bitterness poisons your attitude to where you see things in a negative light. Bitter people don't have good relationships. They are easily offended. They will jump down your throat for the smallest thing. It's not you. It's the bitterness coming out. And you may have a good reason to be bitter. Something was unfair, but on holding on to it, only going to make it worse. It's going to steal your dreams, rob you of your joy. Bitterness can keep you from your destiny. Now, I know people that are still bitter over something that happened 30 years ago. Bitter because they were maltreated growing up. Bitter because the relationship didn't work out. You have to let it go. God sees what is happening. He knows what wasn't fair he knows who walked away and he knows how to make it up to you he knows how to bring you out better let it go and trust him to be your vindicator the longer you hold on the harder it is to get rid of the more you dwell on it the more you relieve it the more you let it bother you the deeper it gets planted the key is forgive quickly let go of things you don't understand quickly when you feel the bitterness trying to take its root right then god i'm turning this over to you i know you are my vindicator i know you will make my wrongs right you said you will give me beauty for these ashes i found bitterness is always knocking at the door you didn't get the contract bitterness will come have a chip on your shoulder that's not fair you prayed you believed why didn't god answer your prayers that's bitterness trying to come in at the office a co-worker says something to try to make you look bad in front of people just a little offense just a small seed if you ignore it's no big deal but if you start dwelling on it start thinking of how you can pay them back next time you see them you give them the cold shoulder then that little seed will begin to take root before long it will grow and pollute other areas of your life that's why it says in hebrews make sure that no root of bitterness springs forth and causes trouble and many become contaminated by it notice it refers to bitterness as a root you can't see a root it's hidden it's underground but here is the problem a bitter root produces bitter fruit. If you have a root of bitterness, it will contaminate your life. Proverbs says, guide your heart with all diligence, for out of it flow the issues of life. One of our most important responsibilities is to keep your heart pure. Life is too short to live offended, not forgiving, bitter over what didn't work out. You have to guide your heart. It's easy to let what's on the outside get on the inside. Take discipline to say, I'm not going to dwell on that offense. I'm not going to go around feeling sorry for myself because something didn't work out. So much emotional energy each day. It's not an unlimited supply. Do you know how much energy it takes to hold the grudge? To go around offended? That's wasting valuable energy. You need for your dreams, for your children, for your destiny. Quit letting what's on the outside get on the inside. Start guiding your heart. 
The Apostle Paul had plenty of opportunities to live offended. He said in one place, Alexander the Coppersmith did me great wrong, but I'm not worried. I know God will pay him back. That's a mature attitude anyway. Somebody did me great wrong, but I'm not upset, not bitter. Don't have a chip on my shoulder. I know God is fighting my battles. I know God will be my vindicator. Amen. That is interesting. You still can't see a root, but a root is where the trees get life. We see the outside, the leaves, the branches, but the roots are what's feeding the tree. When you, when your roots are healthy, positive, hopeful, then that's feeding you encouragement, life strength, hope. The problem is, if you have bitter roots, you are not being fed the right things. Okay? The good news is, you don't have to live with bitter roots at all. You need to ask God to show you what is causing you to be bitter. Maybe there is somebody you need to forgive. Maybe it's a dream that didn't work out. You are still sore about it. Maybe it's a mistake you made and you're still beating yourself up. If you be honest with yourself and say, God, help me to get rid of this root of bitterness. God, I'm still angry over what happened when I was 10 still sore over the person that left still grieving over my loved one that i lost 12 years ago god i don't want to be bitter i want my passion back i want to love again like i used to i want to dream again god help me to let it go and move forward that's the first step is getting rid of a bitter root find out what is and ask god to help you you can't do it on your own. Ask him to help you forgive the person that hurt you. Ask him to help you release the bitterness, the resentment. When you get those contentments out, you will not only feel the weight lift off of you, but you will get your joy back. You will start dreaming again, and you will see the new things God has in store for you. And again, you have to pray and leave everything in the hand of God Almighty. Quit relieving that dream that didn't work out, that business had that failed, the contract that didn't go through. Let it go. God has another dream. That was a test. You had to go through those closed doors before you could come to your open doors. It may not have been fair, but God saw what happened. And if you get rid of the pigs, if you will turn it over to him, start dreaming again, start believing again, start hoping again, God will pay you back. Hallelujah. He's going to open doors. He is going to bring people better than you ever imagined. What is in your future is much greater than anything you have lost now. Don't let a bitter root contaminate your life. It's time to move forward. Amen. Move forward, child of God. Move forward. There's one story in the Bible I would like to tell you. Okay? There's this in, in the scripture, a lady named Naomi had some tough times. She was living in a city called Moab. She was a widow. Her husband had died and years later, both of her sons were killed. And sometimes life doesn't seem fair. It's easy to get bitter and give up on your dreams, but God wouldn't have allowed it if it was going to keep you from your destiny. And yes, it's difficult, but God promises He will give you grace for every season. He wouldn't let you go through more than you can handle. When that bitterness comes, you have to put your feet down and say, No, I'm not going there. I know God is still in control. I know his plans for me are for good. What you are going through may not be good, but God knows how to bring good out of it. But every thought he will tell you is never going to get better. You might as well be bitter. Do not allow bitterness. Do not allow bitterness in your life. Bitterness cannot give you a good thing. The interesting thing about this woman she changed her name from Naomi to Mara. Have you changed your name, so to speak, to Mara? 
Are you living bitter, negative, thinking about everything that didn't work out? Do yourself a favor. Get rid of those names you've put on your life and go back to being who God created you. God didn't change your name. He still calls you blessed, prosperous, favored, healthy, strong, victorious. May you be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.